All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, glad to be bringing it home here for this great event. Thanks for your patience and time. Uh, yeah, I'm Nathan Freitas with The Guardian Project um, and uh, known as Nate Freight. And I've been leading this effort for about 10 years now uh, and working with Tor throughout that. So we're so glad to keep our collaboration going. And the, the, the mobile first uh, attitude and direction of Tor obviously is very exciting for us. And uh, we're glad to be uh, on that mobile train. Uh, I want to really thank um, our team and our community at Guardian Project. Um, a big part of that is OK Thanks, who has really helped us pioneer work in sort of mobile-centric, human-centered design with users around the world. Um, you know, when you talk about mobile first, you're really being much more inclusive and embracing all sorts of people in different situations um, economically and with different connectivity, um, even different levels of electricity. So, um, you know, it's important to have experts in that to think through that and to work with um, people like Antonella on the tour team. So thanks to all of that team at OK Thanks and the Guardian Project team, Benjamin, Mike, Hans, David, Carrie, Fabiola, Bim, Casey, Tiffany, and many more who work on our tour related efforts. So three things I'm going to talk about today. First, you heard from Alex earlier about Onion Browser and our, um, our struggles with iOS. So we'll be talking about that, um, but real progress too. Um, Orbot continues um, uh, even with Tor Browser for Android, and we'll show the value that it offers there. And then um, building on the work uh, that Cecilia spoke about with and Philip in anti-censorship around pluggable transports, we've um, participated in that. And we'll talk about what that means on a, on a mobile device. So apples and onions is kind of our phrase we talk about uh, when we enter the um, Cupertino world. And first, um, a lot of our work at Guardian Project is deeply involved with activist groups, human rights groups, and efforts to combat censorship at many levels. And through our work with those communities, we participated in the Worldwide Developers Against Apple Censorship Conference, um, which was simultaneous with the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference. And so um, the idea is to really get Apple to stop removing v VPNs from the App Store. You know, they're this gatekeeper, as we've seen, and even more with some of the outages of uh, even on the Mac with being able to run apps. It's a real problem. Um, and so we've been really working on that angle on the advocacy level to make some ground there and work hand in hand with Tibetans, Uyghurs, Chinese activists, Hong Kong activists. And so in fact, there was some real progress with Apple um, around a new human rights policy, um, but the work continues and the hope really is that we can somehow make uh, progress with allowing um, these devices not to be controlled, which binaries you can run to be controlled by the App Store. This matters because as much as we love working on Onion Browser, um, it is banned in places like China through the Chinese App Store. So then we have to encourage side loading and all these other risky behaviors, which we don't like. And we would hate to see that kind of censorship expand um, to the world beyond uh, China, even to Hong Kong. But um, that said, Onion Browser is better than ever. If you haven't been to onionbrowser.com, please go and see the uh, beautiful site and also links to video tutorials and information about how to best use um, Onion Browser on your iOS device. Um, Mike Tegas has pioneered this work, but we've really expanded it to a much bigger and broader team. And this has included um, collaboration uh, with Tor, uh, as Alex mentioned, getting Tor to run within the constrained environment of iOS, figuring out um, how to run it in process instead of a separate binary, a separate executable, and um, also getting all of the various pluggable transport technology running within the limitations of iOS. And so a lot of excellent work there um, by uh, TLA Designs, Benjamin, as well as UX Design, as I mentioned, on how to make all of this smoothly work together within a WebKit environment. So part of this is um, considering sort of how you embed and integrate Tor inside of applications um, differently on iOS and even Android now. And so one of the things we realized is that if you wanna start running OBS4 and Meek and Snowflake and multiple pluggable transports, you really can't include them as kind of separate um, bundles of code. You need to integrate these into kind of a single um, library. And so um, we've created a new um, IPT proxy library that incorporates the latest OBS4, Meek, and Snowflake into a single library that works both on iOS and Android. Um, and that allows us to, to both manage the size of binaries and also just uh, make them all work smoothly together inside of one application. 
So if you're interested in that, please check out the IPT proxy library um, from TLA Designs. And we're also um, dealing with this transition of UI WebView to WK WebView, which makes it more difficult to proxy traffic. Um, and as Alex mentioned, um, we're working on how to do that because we cannot use our own browser engine like Gecko as you can. So, you know, Apple really loves putting up sort of barricades to making safe and secure applications or making applications that want to do things that are interesting. Um, we do believe that using the network extension methodology, we can get to running um, within um, the sort of the, the Apple architecture, but um, we've got a long way to, to go there. Um, and we're really excited about some of the work that Nick and Alex and others are doing on making Tor more embeddable. So stay tuned for that. Work continues um, on Onion Browser. Um, the other quite interesting thing we've learned is that um, with the ARM-based Macs, you'll be able to run apps like Onion Browser on a, on a laptop you know, or a desktop. So the, the lines are starting to blur between mobile and desktop as well. So we'll, we'll be staying tuned to that. Uh, Orbot continues, of course, after 10 plus years. Um, we're so glad for Tor Browser for Android to be out there, but um, Orbot still has its value and uses for non-browser-based applications of Tor on mobile devices. Um, we have 1.5 million active users and nearly 20 million installs over those 10 years, uh, 11 years, sorry. Um, and you can see the progress of the user interface from our early prototype to um, what we ship today. Some of the most exciting um, important features on this are related to bridge distribution and being able to, within Orbot itself, actually get new bridges um, through a streamlined interface. This is also available in Onion Browser and really allows um, through just entering a, QR, um, a CAPTCHA code to request um, and configure and deploy new bridges right within your app. Um, this is really important for places where Tor is censored um, and where users have um, challenges maybe using some of the other distribution methods. So thank you to the Moat team for that service. And beyond Orbot um, on Android and also on, on iOS again, um, we're really about pushing other apps to use Tor. So this year we launched um, with our partners at Open Archive, the Save app, um, which is a rare, very advanced kind of archiving media backup app that works with Amazon, I mean, um, the Internet Archive, uh, any web dev host like Nextcloud, um, and also Dropbox, and it all can work um, over Tor through just a simple uh, toggle. Ftroid, the leading open app store, um, kind of the you know the antithesis antithesis to Apple, um, is amazing with the integrated Tor support and the ability to host app stores over Onions. And most recently, there's been a lot of work in private DNS um, and ad blocking on devices. And so we see things like Rethink DNS, which is a firewall, kind of a um, little snitch app firewall and DNS privacy tool, have integrated proxying of traffic over SOX with the default setting to Orbot. Um, and, and so users are really asking for more than just a VPN. They want full control of all traffic on their devices. And that includes uh, routing traffic over Tor, but also firewall and DNS control. So we're excited about what Rethink is up to. Um, and you heard a lot about Onion services. Um, Haven is an activist tool for, or any, you know, sort of a private personal um, security tool. Um, and you can access it like a remote IoT kind of camera over an Onion service. So all the work that's being done with Onion services is so key and important on mobile. Um, and we really you know, see new types of applications for Tor beyond just web browsing. Of course, shout out to the Briar Project who really has pioneered um, Onion services on mobile. And we're excited for the Ricochet Refresh and Onion Share, for instance, which um, you know, is another amazing project using Onion services in different ways to come to mobile devices. It just makes sense. And um, yeah, we're really thrilled for, for the Onion service work. Uh, lastly, um, you know, what we've seen increasingly is Tor has gotten more popular, is more censorship of the Tor network itself. And so all of this work on Snowflake is so important. And what we really are excited about is bringing it to new kinds of devices. Um, Orbot is very popular on Fire Sticks, Amazon Fire TVs, and um, Google just put out this Google TV um, $50 puck that runs Android. And so you can run Orbot um, 
on these devices and you can run Snowflake as a, as a proxy on these devices. Um, and so, you know, we're excited for the day that we can turn on a million Orbot users to become um, Snowflake proxies, um, for instance. So um, that's happening um, and the IPT proxy library has support to be a Snowflake proxy now. So that's gonna be a really great change um, in terms of capacity of bridges within the Tor network. And again, we're just building on the great work that the anti-censorship team is already doing, so. All right, well, thank you so much. And um, yeah, thanks to Tor for uh, this opportunity and the great work continues and all of you for your support. Cheers.